So the Mike Long situation is still a pretty hot topic, and I wanted to do a little follow-up video because when I had made the other video, I had it read through the entire article that was dropped also with the video. You know, I just kind of skimmed through it before I made that last video. Well, I have since read through the entire article, and there's some stuff in there that is really, really, really shocking. There's actually been some people defending Mike Long on my other video. They clearly haven't read this article. There's some people that are in denial that he's even snagging these fish, which is obviously snagging the fish, but there are so many other things in this article that just really let you see what kind of character he is and what he is willing to do for fame and money, and it's pretty, pretty disturbing, actually. But yeah, I figured I'd do another little follow-up video, talk about that, because, I mean, let's face it, a lot of people probably aren't going to read that nine-page article just because people don't like to read that much anymore. But yeah, anyway, we're going to cover some of that stuff, so stay tuned. So apparently, before he was even a bass fisherman, he was a catfish poacher. I'm going to link this article by SD Fish in the description because I'm basically getting all my information from this article. So I'm going to go ahead and source it, link it in the description. If you guys want to really read and get an in-depth look of who Mike Long really was, it's a very good read. And it will shock and disturb you. One of the first things he did to try to get some fame was catch some giant catfish. I think he, in my understanding, he was probably jugging for them at a lake that was already closed, that like closes for night. And he went out and put jug lines and caught some really big blue cats. Tried to say he caught him in a different lake. Somebody called him out on it because the other lake doesn't even have blue cats. And, and then he sent him into some magazines as if he caught him somewhere else. It's just like a big mess, and one of the cats was like 73 pounds, which is a pretty big blue cat. So one of the magazines took his picture and put it on the cover or something, and like, you know, it got a bunch of attention, and he really liked that attention. And then he started seeing all these other guys catching big bass, getting all this attention. This is like before social media. This is like early 90s. So eventually he started trying to catch bass. There's so many people cited in this article that were talking about how he's not even a good fisherman at all. Like how it took three years of him fishing a pro tour to like even learn how to use a bait caster. That, that's insane. He's got all these water body records that are complete bogus because he had access to like a private lake that he was going to and catching fish, probably snagging them, who knows, because around the spawn time. And then he would take those fish, put them in a tub or something in his truck, which he actually had two big ass tanks at his house too that he would keep fishing before tournaments. We'll get into that later. But he would take these fish from one lake to another lake that, you know, maybe it's higher up in the mountains, the fish don't grow as big. And then he would, you know, act like he was fishing for about a half hour and then come into the marina and be like, hey, I caught a, you know, 17 pound bass. That's how I got all his lake records. Just complete bullshit. There's guys talking about, you know, coming over to his house, seeing tanks in his, in his garage that had like you know, seven, eight, nine pound bass in them. And then like the next day at the tournament, he would weigh in a bass that size, just all this crazy, crazy stuff. A lot of his tournaments that he won, he fished by himself, even though they were supposed to have a partner, he'd write somebody down and then not tell them that they were gonna be his partner. And then he would go fish the whole thing himself. And those are the ones he did really good at. Well, some of the tournaments, like he had the fish with a partner. I think every one of his partners that he's ever had pretty much has come forth and said, that he's a cheater. They're talking about like special compartments in his boat and like he would always make the other guy. Now granted, this is, they were almost fishing always out of Mike Long's boat when they were doing tournaments, right? He would have the hit the other guy work his trolling motor. And while he was up there working the trolling motor, looking away, Mike would like pull out a fish out of some random compartment that like wasn't supposed to be a live well, but apparently was. And he'd hurry up and like hook it up and like reel in this like half dead fish. And he got caught a few times by his partners, which I mean, how would you not catch somebody in the back of the boat doing that stuff? A lot of people said he was super intimidating, so they didn't want to call him out on it. It's kind of crazy. Everybody kind of like knew he was cheating forever, it sounds like, but like a lot of people didn't really have definite proof, and a lot of people were scared. Like there's stories about him going to people's houses and threatening their kids. Like he was threatening some 13-year-old kid because he saw the tanks at his house, stuff like that. I mean, come on, bro. He loosened people's lug nuts on their cars and their trailers. It's all kind of stuff. Like this guy is just really just a terrible person. It's unbelievable what he would, what he was willing to do for fame and money. Really, I mean, I guess he had like over one hundred fifty thousand dollars in tournament wins that were all bullshit. Like he cheated at all of them. He'd make rock pens in shallow water. Like he would make a pen out of rocks and like a couple, like like a foot of water, and he'd put the bass in there, and then he'd go get them, or he'd tie them to a tree then snag the line so it looked like he caught it. And he'd go over and be like, oh, it's right, you know, it's wrapped around a tree. And he'd, he'd cut the line and act like he just caught this fish. Like, just stuff like that. And all, you know, all his partners started getting wise to it. And then nobody wanted to fish with him. And eventually he was banned from 
fishing any tournaments out around the San Diego area. And that's when he just started concentrating on lake records and stuff like that. And, like, you know, he, apparently this guy doesn't mean fish swim baits. Like, he's supposed to be this huge swim bait guru, but he just snags them and puts the swim baits in their mouth. Like, it's just, it's absolutely crazy. The fact that he would threaten a kid, like, he threatened to beat up a 13 year old kid because he found out that he was cheating. I mean, come on, bro. And he got away with this for like, what, 30 years almost? It's, it's insane. It's insanity. I mean, honestly, I feel like legal action should be taken on him. Who knows if it's really going to. He's completely deleted all of his social media accounts. His website's down. I mean, he's just trying to ghost the whole world, trying to hide from all his problems now. He needs to just man up and come out and just apologize for everything. And I mean, there's really nothing he can do to make this right. He's never going to be accepted back into the fishing community again, I feel like. But, I mean, at this point, he, he needs to just face up, man up, admit it, and apologize. Because, I mean, what else can you do at this point, I guess, other than hide like a little coward? Which is what he's been doing so far. I mean, he had to see this stuff coming. You know, that article talks about him trying to bribe old partners and stuff who caught him cheating. Like, trying to send him money and stuff like that. I mean, oh my god. It's almost, I mean, this is almost just unbelievable but if you haven't seen my other video i'm gonna go ahead and link it in the description so make sure you check out my other video you should have probably watched that before this one but you know whatever i'm also like i said gonna link the article in the description if you guys want to sit down and have a really good read and just really really get to see who this guy really is it's it's definitely worth reading it's nine pages it's a pretty big article but it's worth reading but yeah this is probably gonna be the last time i talk about this topic i feel like i've pretty much covered everything now the whole fishing community is going nuts over all this stuff yeah i just don't think i'm gonna need to talk about this again we'll see if he uh if he ever mans up to this i gotta feel he's probably gonna hide from the fishing community the rest of his life and probably find some other way to con his way into winning money who knows but thanks so much for watching if you haven't already please smash the subscribe button hit the like button and i'll see you next time